my lords, ladies, and gentlemen. It is a great honor to have been invited to say a few words at this opening ceremony. This is a circle project which incorporates both Dean Salomon High School and the newly built Walt Ilford Jewish Primary School. And I would like to thank my dear friend, Mick Davis, and my dearest friends, Gerald and Gail Ronson, for inviting me to be part of the team that has created this wonderful new Jewish campus. Education is the foundation of everything we do in life, and as once said by the Greek philosopher, the foundation of every state is the education of its youth. Our Talmud says, any Jewish fortune should be divided in three portions, gold, business, and real estate. I would like to propose number four, education of your kids, which is a tool to develop and protect not only fortune, but the future of your family itself. Since biblical times, education has been a key part of the Jewish people's culture, a culture that stresses education, open inquiry, and critical thought. Perhaps it is this focus on education that has resulted in 23% of all individual Nobel Prize recipients between 1901 and 2013 being Jews. In fact, last year, of the eight individuals who won Nobel Prizes, six were Jewish, two were Israeli, and one a Holocaust survivor. And the, those spectacular figures are despite Jews currently making up just 0.2% of the world's population. I am particularly pleased to be associated with the rebuilding of the Wall Ilford Jewish Primary School. This is the best age to help children understand about Jewish traditions and about tolerance. It is the time when we can start our children off down the right road and the road that will steer them through life. This preparatory school will become the feeder of the secondary school, thereby creating a campus of Jewish learning. This campus will be at the heart of new dynamism and new vibrancy in this Jewish community. I'm proud that the Cantor name will operate at the heart of the Red Bridge Jewish community. One particular area of education that I am passionate about is teaching people about tolerance. Learning about tolerance is essential if we are to be able to live our lives in peace in what is becoming an ever increasingly fractured world. It was the Russian novelist and historian Alexander Solzhenitsyn who said, it is a universal law. Intolerance is the first sign of an inadequate education. An ill-educated person behaves with arrogant impatience, whereas truly profound education breeds humility. As parents, you have taken the decision to ensure your children to receive the very best Jewish education they can get. Whatever financial wealth we can bestow on our children, none can surpass the real wealth we have given them when we invest in the very best Jewish education from the outset. Your wisdom in making this decision will fuel their wisdom. And this is something that can be handed down from generation to generation. As the Talmud says, scholars promote peace in the world. And my dear friends, the very last message. Any national government, with wisdom of course, should appreciate the flourishing of Jewish community, especially the development of Jewish education. Good question, why? According to biblical principles, 
The key point of Jewish tradition is the following legal formula. Dina, Dumalkuta Dina, which means the law of the country is the law. Today, when Europe again so much challenged by ultra-right and neo-Nazi activity, the protection of Jewish identity and Jewish education means protection of the national basic values. Because as always in the history, Jewish tradition serves a front line of national security. Thank you very much.